back at it again. And in this episode, we're doing something different. We're, we're, we're taking a step back and we're producing an informational based video focused on something that's absolutely true and dear to myself, the channel, and what we believe Haiti's going to need to move forward out of the malaise that's, that it's in currently, and most importantly, once we're out of this incredible period, incredible, unprecedented period that we're in, what's going to be next to take us to where we deserve to be. It's going to take us to a place where Haiti works for all Haitians. And that is a business first approach to getting jobs in the hands of Haitians and getting prosperity to, to us all. Right? So in this episode, we're going to do something real different. We're going to uh, count down, count down the top eight, the top eight opportunities that exist in Haiti. I'm going to go through them, I'm going to talk about them, I'm going to give you a tip or two in terms of how to get into it, and the hope is, is that you watching right now genuinely considers that opportunity, generally thinks about, wait a minute, no, no, I had this idea, but I didn't think, I I didn't think it was something serious that I could really do. No, you could do it. No, you could do it. (laughs) I promise you. It just takes that little pizzazz, that bravery, that confidence to know that on the other side of of, of a a journey, you're going to be successful. So without further ado, we're going to go through these ideas for you to benefit. Let's go. Real estate. One of the things that even someone with very little familiarity with Haiti, when they fly in, Haiti is a country under construction. <laughs> right? Everywhere you go, when you see buildings that are half complete, a third complete, complete but just lacking paint. Nonetheless, you get a really, very clear conception that construction is happening and it's construction is happening all the time. That is an indication to you that there is an opportunity there. Opportunity across the entire supply chain of real estate, but in the real estate sector itself, from architecture to constructing, the constructing of single family homes, the constructing of large apartment complexes, the, the opportunity, even if you know what you're doing, to, to, to develop large development complexes. One of the things we've enjoyed the most uh, here at CGNT has been featuring many real estate projects that have uh, occurred, uh, complete been completed uh, in under construction, uh, different phases, right? Because it's really important for us to understand that um, there, Haiti isn't just one type of home, right? There's many different types of homes at many different types of levels that can be built, right? And there's opportunities in every sector, right? I do not, I personally, see Jetty, Chris Jetty, who's been living in um, Haiti for years now, do not know of a home that's built that sits for long unoccupied. Despite the difficulty that's been happening in the country, homes rent and homes will rent at just about any price point set. Now, obviously those who are set at a higher price point may take a little bit longer to rent versus ones that are set lower. The market uh, still works in that way, (laughs) right? But it is assured that eventually you will find renters for your property. That is a sure thing. And And that, of course, we're just talking for long rental stays. The Airbnb market we, there's associates that I'm aware of who have occupancies even during the most the periods of time where Haiti's on the news the most for reason X, Y, and Z. They're at 80, 90, 
100% occupancy during a 30 day period or during a month. The Airbnb market it remains an incredible opportunity for folks, right? Consider real estate. So the bigger entries uh, for getting into real estate, of course, is land acquisition, which can be very much a wild, wild west affair. Uh, I would uh, challenge many of those who are watching that many, you know, are you know, have family land in Haiti that's been sitting. I challenge the many who are watching this who are in that situation to potentially do something with that land and thus not have to have to worry about finding new land and the headaches that exist. But we've talked about that here with CGNT. Just do a quick uh, you know, search on CGNT real estate. Check out the video where we went in length and in detail about the pitfalls and some of the things that occur you know, as it relates to buying real estate and the process. We talked about that in detail. So do check that out I'll, and I'll leave that information uh, deep dive for you to go check out. Renewable energy, aka solar power, is already making incredible moves in the country of Haiti, and it is something that's bringing something that honestly was out of the hands of many <laughs> into the private domain, into the entrepreneurial domain, and it can be exploited and executed appropriately in a country like Haiti, where 80% of the population does not have access to consistent electricity. You're able to take advantage of it. We're gonna talk about a few different ways to go ahead and do that. Listen, Haiti averages over 300 bright sunlight days a year. And, and, and compared to the DR, the Dominican Republic, which is right next door, captures more trade winds, right? Than due to its position on the west end of the island, right? So those two things put together, more sun, more wind, means Haiti is in an exceptional position to find and be able to produce more places where solar and renewable energy can be successful, right? The concept is, is pretty straightforward, right? As an entrepreneur, you would bring in solar panels, highly effective solar panels, and, and highly effective renewable entities, objects like solar water heaters, solar chargers, solar fridges and freezers, Right? Solar powered, other, other solar uh, powered home products, right? That in effect are battery versions of common home objects that include light bulbs, that include fans, that, that can include blenders. It's really limited just by one's imagination in terms of what could become uh, an effective home product, right? Specifically, as it relates to solar panels, one thing folks need to know is that solar panels officially can be imported into Haiti um, without paying import duties. Right? So, you know, there is an incredible opportunity, you know, to leverage that product and not and be very competitive in terms of pricing because of the Haitian law. It's something that can be effective anywhere in Haiti. Anyway, maybe into the big cities, to a smaller provincial town, to straight up in the middle of nowhere, you have an incredible opportunity, an incredible opportunity to make that into a business. Maybe even having small huts that are connected by a solar panel and folks come and charge their phones for a very small fee, the opportunities abound. Food processing this is a big category, right? Because it features a lot of different things from meat to cereal products, to juices, to uh, flour, to uh, even raw, raw mangoes and bananas, right? I mean, when it comes to the food and the processing of food, it's not necessary, as we're defining it, it's not necessarily limited to 
uh, going as far as doing a lot of transformation. It's literally the, the concept of taking food from one place, preparing it, and getting it to a store shelf or in the hands of a street merchant who can do that final sale to, to someone's home where it's consumed. And the opportunity is huge. Notice that we, we went to two important things that people have to have. Just before we did real estate, people have to live somewhere. And in this idea, people have to eat. <laughs> you won't go wrong uh, in this particular domain. The ideas available here are so many, right? From you know pushing, helping to better develop rice, cereals, vegetable oils, to you know, doubling down in established industries like the cassava industry in northern Haiti, to to the fish, fish farming, and growing, which can be started in one's backyard. You don't necessarily have a, you need a lake or a very large facility, or just a, a, a swimming pool size amount of water that one's backyard could start a fish farm, right? Herbs and spices, right? Having a herb and spice business, edible oils, honey. Honey is a major, major, uh, majorly consumed within the Haitian community for its medicinal properties, right? Beverages. You know, it's a, it's a whatever beverage you can think of producing is a liquid gold opportunity, right? Animal feed, right? You know, animals have to eat. Animal feed is another fantastic opportunity. Food crop, fruit crops don't grow themselves necessarily, right? You know, have being a source for the farmers is uh, just as important of an opportunity as growing it yourself right coffee coffee is one of the things that uh, since independence have pushed and been an opportunity for for Haitians all across the country coca massive and, and leather though it's not something you necessarily consume it's certainly a byproduct that it's left over from the consumption of meat and can also be used and used profitably and the biggest thing to appreciate about any of these businesses Literally, you start with what you have. You start with a space, you start with even a kitchen, <laughs> just a regular old kitchen, and you get the proof of concept out, you start getting some buzz around the particular product you're producing, and from there you make well-educated investments to grow, to scale, and to dominate. Keeping smart marketing at the forefront, and always looking for opportunities to partnership, and find that niche, Food processing, food and beverage domain is an incredible, incredible opportunity not to be overlooked. Music remains an untapped, underappreciated industry within Haiti. Now, Haiti has something, a concept called HMI, the Haitian music industry, which uh, produces so many countless extraordinary uh, artists within the domain. But within that domain exist a lot of points where someone with the right sense can make a lot of money. The ideas are countless, right? From being becoming a promoter, to being someone who helps producers, those being at the point of assisting in songwriting, audio engineers, choreographers, tour coordinators, stage managers, publicists, concert organizers, <laughs> even bodyguards, of course, DJs. All right, there's so many different points where someone can come in and really put structure and really scale. Right? And not even to mention more traditional elements where that has been proven to be able to happen, such as music instructors, music store chains, right? performance schools, right? instrument repairers, right? all those contact points with music uh, have existed and will need to exist for the music industry to scale and be profitable. 
find it, find your niche, find that spot, come with creativity and some gumption and excel. Farm is something we want to revisit, right? We want to, we want to specifically highlight making this its own element because of its importance, because of its capacity to be the cornerstone of a society, and most importantly, has such an incredible opportunity in a country like Haiti. Having my own farm, having uh, over an acre where seasonally we produce uh, different crops from potatoes, sweet potatoes, mayoc, uh, banan, uh, our, our land, uh, I can tell you firsthand what comes out that ground and when it's ready for sale, it does not make it even to market like where we have to bring it to market. We have um, Madame Seas, you know, these merchants, these informal merchants who will come by the dozens, right? If, we are, if our farm is larger, maybe by the hundreds, and purchase the material, purchase the goods right there at the farm and bring aid to you know fill up what they can fill up and leave with it, right? We don't spend from the day which it's ready for harvest we do not it does not stay on our land beyond 48 hours that's guaranteed right so i've seen that firsthand i've seen the opportunity that exists in farming and in farming different products because in addition to uh, the crops that we farm we also farm animals pigs chickens <laughs> goats Cows, right? And we see firsthand the same thing. When that animal pro animal is ready to be harvested, we cannot keep up with demand. And that is something that is to persist. That's something that is to persist for the foreseeable future, maybe. If you have land already, and most of you do, this is another potential use, especially for those who have land in the provinces. This is another potential critical use uh, for you, that land and for what you have going on. For those who do not have land, bear in mind, we've talked about this, uh, how to get land, and, and as I mentioned before, do check that episode out. It's CGNT, how to buy real estate in Haiti. Financial services in Haiti is a massive opportunity that exists uh, in the country. And and though I am rather cautious about some of the most newer technology as it relates to crypto, right? There is waiting for someone to actually execute many of the ideas that have been espoused about blockchain about the opportunities that exist that can help with facilitation of transfers from the diaspora from ex externally to internally and most importantly even internally right really um, pushing a more digital based transaction system that exists in the country there's been a few companies that have tried a few companies that made some inroads but no company has yet dominated that domain and, and, and we're waiting for it and you might be that person to do it when it comes to financial services one has to consider going into spaces for example in banking and payment services where a large segment of the population have not yet been exposed right such as banking right so the, the right player with the right idea in terms of how to bring these folks into the fold and make it profitable can win, right? The true untapped resource in Haiti is as entrepreneurs, right? So, so we're talking about venture capital, right? You know, angel investment, have helping create a cloud funding platform, right? Different ways to assist those looking for capital, looking for financing, 
in the entrepreneurial domain to find it and get it is an incredible opportunity. Business insurance remains an under-realized entity that is waiting for someone to usher that domain into modernity in Haiti. Products can include diaspora, foreign traveler insurance, home business fire insurance, life insurance, product insurance, right? temporary event insurance, for example, for music and festivals. Right? The, the opportunities to insure are many. And there are companies established in Haiti that do already provide uh, a, a, a lot of different services that you could just go ahead and plug right into. And it goes without saying, uh, the Haitian economy, which is so strongly dependent on money transfers, being a player in that space that can provide transfers more cheaply, that can provide transfers more secure, more safe, and more widely, you're going to be a winner. <laughs> you're going to be a winner, and you're going to take advantage of an incredible need and make a whole lot of money doing it, right? Which is why we firmly believe that this road into the largest of financial services lends to an incredible amount of opportunity for the right entrepreneur. Remote services and education is an incredible opportunity that exists for a Haitian and for those looking to do business in Haiti. With coming out of COVID, I think a lot of us have a newfound appreciation for working at a distance. Uh, more of us appreciate it than hate it in any case. And the ease of which one can do it nowadays is exponentially more than just 10 years ago. With the advent of Starlink now being in Haiti, and despite a relatively high cost, uh, it's opened the doors for inc incredible access to internet for Haitians, no matter where they are. It may be in the countryside, or may they be uh, in the, the, the metro, metro city where traditionally they've seen uh, more stable and fast enough speeds for remote uh, work and learning, it's opened the doors for uh, Haiti and Haitians and investors anywhere to be able to make their footprint and make uh, an, an impact. But the remote work, as you may traditionally already know, uh, involves a lot of times customer service that occurs at a distance, that involves uh, outbound calls from a distance, that involves nowadays chat uh, services uh, from a distance to other works such as virtual assistants, right? Uh, anything that could be potentially outsourced out uh, is an opportunity to open and invest and do work, especially given that Haitians in, in Haiti are have traditionally been able to speak many languages, from English to Spanish in addition to French, speak it fluently and speak it very often with little to better accent in English than more traditional sources such as India, Philippines, and, and other places across the world. Specifically when it comes to virtual education, the opportunities are, are many fold from being able to help set up uh, areas where young people can come and get access to content across the internet, to yourself setting up programs specific online courses specific to allowing someone to take for a very nominal fee, right? And, and you make your your money through the volume of folks who potentially will take that course. So the goal really is to make courses that are interesting and useful enough for a population, particularly for children. And given the recent epoch that Haiti's coming out of where uh, things were so unstable. So many children had to spend entire school years working and learning from a distance. Uh, 
there is more than ever a market for students from many different backgrounds, from medium to rich to even poor, where there is an expectation that they can too learn from a distance and learn from the best and not be limited by their geographic area. Setting up a company that can capitalize on this recent set sentiment is a winning play. And beyond even just kids, you know, we have personal uh, development, professional development that exists within the country where uh, uh, young adults uh, to seasoned professionals are always looking to expand their skill set, expand their capacity to do work, personal development, education from a distance can be just as effective. The last opportunities exist is transportation. And listen, vehicles are needed. Someone has to sell them. <laughs> Why not you? you know, one of the tried and true business opportunities that exist in Haiti is the bringing the purchase of vehicles in other countries and bringing them into Haiti for resale. And not just vehicles, motorcycles, buses, trucks. If it has wheels, whatever the wheel count, it can be imported into the country and it's resold for a margin because there's always need for vehicles. And every four to five years, even if you have one already, you need another. Heck, and why even worry about selling them when you can rent a vehicle? Get into the rental business. And they can potentially be even more profitable, especially if you can keep the sale, the uptime of the rental high. And don't just consider more traditional vehicles Quad, ATVs, off-road, mountain bikes are all things that also can similarly be rented and rented at a relatively high margin, depending on what's going on in the country. And even consider transport by air. Listen, plane is not required. Wow, yes, <laughs> getting into the air transport business ideally would involve getting a plane. And getting a plane, we understand, can be a bit pricey and out of the ballpark for many fresh-nosed, just-starting entrepreneurs. But there's other touch points that can be as profitable. And we're talking about food and beverage provisioning, cleaning services, shuttle services, cargo handling, airport shops, duty-free airport, posters, signage, in-flight entertainment, and more, right? Whatever you come across while you're at an airport, either going in or going out, it presents an opportunity that exists in Haiti for you. And a massive, massive opportunity that remains untapped in Haiti is transport by water, <laughs> right? Just imagine being able to take a boat from the docks in Port-au-Prince that will take you to Miaguan or take you as far around the coast to Jacmel or even Okap, right? The majority of major Haitian cities are along the coastline and so there remains an opportunity to potentially transport people and things by water by boat right? and it will be a massive benefit to a lot of folks who ideally may either just want a scenic different route or potentially depending on what's going on in the country and where in the country might be a true generally safer alternative to taking the roads 